the Gulf Stream 550 Airborne Early Warning Aircraft is one of the most advanced airborne warning systems in the world and four of these aircraft are now part of the Republic of Singapore Air Force's fleet guarding Singapore's skies. The AEWs are flown by the 111 Squadron of RSAF and the RSAF marked the aircraft's full operational capabilities in a ceremony on Friday where Minister for Defence Dr Ng N Han was guest of honour. Airborne Early Warning or AEW platforms, as all of us know, are critical for a small country like Singapore. They eliminate the risk of surprise from the air as they provide us a critical edge with persistent and all-weather capability to detect identify and track aerial threats around the world, uh, the whole year round. Together with our ground-based radar systems, they form an effective alert system to any threat in our airspace and allow us to mount quickly a counter-response through our aircraft and air defence systems. To mark its full operational capability, Squadron 111 took Minister of Defence Dr N N Han on a 50-minute sortie flight over the South China Sea and showed off this aircraft's capabilities. The G550 AEW has an active electronically scanned array radar which detects, identifies and tracks multiple area targets. It has a range of more than 200 nautical miles which enables the RSAF to see further and respond more effectively to area threats. Powered by two Rolls-Royce turbofan engines, the aircraft can stay in the air for 9 hours and can fly to a height of 41,000 feet. Patrolling our airspace and doing surveillance work is the G550's main role and it replaces the E2C Hawkeye which has been retired after 20 years of service. If the G550AEW aircraft comes under attack, it can deploy shaft and flares to confuse enemy weaponry. The aircraft is operated by a crew of two pilots and six warfare officers. The E2C had a, con a crew of three controllers. Um, that would mean that at any one point of time what they could do was limited. But when you brought it onto this aircraft where the system was uh, very capable, it could do more than one thing at one time, and you have six controllers on board, um, this allows us to expand the, the envelope a lot more. While you have three to six, it's a two times uh, increase in the crew size, but essentially uh, the capability lead in terms of the processors actually brings it much more than that. The E2C is actually a very uh, manual aircraft. Uh, everything is manual, even uh, looking at the uh, gauges and uh, flying the aircraft, handling the aircraft. Uh, whilst with uh, G550, uh, it has got uh, full glass cockpit. Uh, it has got the, all the information that I need for flying. And uh, it has got autopilot, auto throttle, and actually this uh, basically take out a lot of uh, capacity uh, from the pilot. And so we can have uh, situation awareness uh, when we are doing the mission. Actually, free out the pilot capacity. The G550 AEW is manufactured by General Dynamics Gulfstream Aerospace Unit, an aircraft company based in Georgia, USA. Besides the RSAF, the Israeli Air Force also utilizes the G550 AEW aircraft.